the central statistical office compiles and publishes the input output table for the indian economy once every 5 years the cso has been preparing these tables since 1968 there are 130 sectors of the indian economy and these sectors are interdependent this interdependence is reflected in the input output table this video will give you some idea about the different matrices that are used in constructing the input output table the input output table of 2007 and 8 has been used as reference in this video the input flow or absorption matrix is also known as the commodity by industry matrix the commodities are entered as rows marked as 1 2 3 and the industries are entered in the columns the rows represent group of commodities which are the principal products of the corresponding industries the industry columns give the commodity inputs of raw materials and services which are used to produce outputs of particular industries in this sample table you can see three commodities paddy wheat and jowar the numerical entries are in lakhs of rupees the entry in the first row and first column shows that paddy word rupees 6831648 is used as intermediate input in the paddy industry the entry in the first row and second column shows paddy word rupees 35423 is used as intermediate input in the wheat industry the sum of the entries along any row shows the total of the inter industry and the final use of the commodity the sum of columns shows the total input required by the industry since the table is commodity by industry transaction presentation the row totals do not tally with the column totals the output matrix or make matrix is also called the industry by commodity matrix in this matrix the industries are entered in the rows and the commodities in the columns the data for the industry wise details of output are tabulated by merging the output flows from registered and unregistered manufacturing sectors and the output flows from primary and service sectors the entries are in lakhs of rupees the column sum gives the total output of the commodities the input output coefficient matrix is the matrix of input output coefficient this coefficient expresses the amount of one commodity used as intermediate input to produce one unit of output of own or another commodity this is the mathematical expression used to calculate the input output coefficient yij is the total quantity of output of ith commodity used as input in the jth commodity and yj is the total output of the jth industry this ratio gives the input output coefficient in the absorption matrix discussed earlier in this video the amount of paddy used as input in the paddy industry is 6831648 Now the total output is calculated by adding the total input that is the column sum plus net indirect tax and gross value added Suppose the total output of the paddy industry is word rupees 21172275 then the ratio of input to the output 
gives the input output coefficient. Thus, 0.32267 is the input output coefficient. In the same way, the other coefficients are calculated. In the product mix matrix, column entries show the proportions in which a particular industry produces various commodities. The diagonal elements give the proportion of the main product in the output of the industry while the off diagonal elements indicate the subsidiary products and byproducts. In the market share matrix, column entries present the proportions in which the various industries produce the total output of a particular commodity. The diagonal elements give the proportions of the output of various commodities produced as main products and the off diagonal elements show the proportions of the commodities produced as subsidiary products in other industries. The market share of paddy as a main product is very significant with 90% and as a subsidiary product in the wheat industry is insignificant with only 0.7%. The commodity by commodity input output table is suitable for multi sectoral projections where final demand estimates are obtained on commodity basis. The industry by industry input output table is useful in detailed planning of industries whose products include by products also. In a commodity by commodity table, both rows and columns represent the commodity group sectors. In an industry by industry table, on the other hand, both rows and columns represent industry group sectors comprising of a mix of different commodity groups. The row of a sector in this table gives the supply of all products and secondary product as a mix produced by the corresponding industry group for different intermediate and final uses. The inverse matrix obtained by using the method of matrix inversion. In 2015, the CSO brought out a new series of national accounts statistics after the recommendations of the System of National Accounts 2008. There were certain discrepancies as the GDP derived from the production side and the expenditure side did not match. And this could be avoided by compiling the supply and use tables. Supply and use tables reflects the production of industries. These tables offer a detailed analysis of the process of production and the use of goods and services and the income generated in that production. The CSO published the supply use table for 140 products and 66 industries of Indian economy. This is the format of the supply table. In this table, row entries show the product produced and column entries show the value of the product by kind of supplier, distinguishing domestic supply from foreign supply that is imports. This is the format of the use table. This table shows for each product across columns the use of the product by type of use, intermediate use or final use.